There, look at that, everybody. Ugh. Everything. 3,000 gems. 32 dragons and 32% of the way there. Not a single dragon lifted a wing to help us. <laughs> I mean, they've been giving us tips, not that we needed them. Because yeah. you and I are both old hands at this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think they said, Spyro, listen, I've got a gun in my closet. Go there and... <laughs> and here we go. Here's blue. where you, I mean, we are in the Peacekeeper's world. It's like, here's the key to my tactical nuke shed. Spyro, listen, I've got a bunch of munitions located in the, uh, in the icy caverns. Get, get those and launch them at these coordinates. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. So, everybody, let's go to Magic Crafters. So, one thing a lot of people notice is that the balloons we go to will automatically just have, have been, apparently, automatically letting us use the balloons. That is not the case. Usually, each balloonist has a requirement before letting us, before taking us anywhere. Usually enough gems, right? Usually enough gems or enough dragons. But unlike a certain puma, bear, whatever, yeah. They don't take the gems from you, but we'll get to that character maybe in later videos. Oh yeah, money bags. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have words. Oh, this one. This. Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Now we have to go all the way back around again. Yep. So, this guy is one of the most infuriating. Yeah, I am such. I, it's been a while, so but don't worry. Okay. Because you only get one shot at him. He's not like the other ones. You don't have a loop to work with. Yeah, this but you mean you managed just fine without it. Yeah, this guy because. So for those of you wondering, this guy, if you take too long, he'll just jump up here. And then you can't get him. You can't get him. And for those wondering, there's nothing up here. There's nothing up here to really worry about getting. So. There, Is so, this a place for him to hide and go, nah, 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 nah. Basically, just to be a jerk. In fact, just to show everybody, when I was a younger draw man, I always wondered how to get up here. What am I missing? How am I not doing this? And this is where the game starts to really not, this is where the game really lets go of your hand. This is where the game starts to tell you, just let, lets you explore on your own. I mean, you've been through two worlds. Presumably by now, you know how things are supposed to work. Exactly. So when you see that there's no way to get up here, you'll know that there's nothing up here. Especially if you see there's no treasure, no dragon up there. There's really no, no reason for you to be up there. So there's no reason to go after him up there. You just have to catch him before he jumps. Hmm. That's the gimmick. Now this guy. Row, row, row. We're oh, wait a second. That's a later stage, actually. Yep. These guys just go. Yeah, these guys just go out. <laughs> Technically, the other wizards do too, but... Yeah, the wizards here are my favorite part. They sound hilarious. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. How do you know they're all blue? Yeah. Actually, that's a good question. You're actually going to find that they have different colors later. <laughs> yeah, so that guy is just being a racist. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So, these guys. Oh. See, I can't do it either. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't control. Well, I say it doesn't control as smoothly, smoothly as you'd like, but there is a huge, huge speedrunning community for the original Spyro game. Yeah, those guys know exactly what they're doing. There are the guys up there. This guy. And yeah, these guys are great, because look at them, they're just laughing at me. They're, I love it. They Look at him. He knows I can't reach him up there. <laughs> he loves it. Too bad I can't aim my fire. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just toast him. Yeah, you need to charge in order to catch him. And even then, you're not you're not quite fast enough. Yeah. Wait, what, what just happened to that guy? Um, if I recall... A lot of these wizards just kind of fight each other on occasion. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're not all friends. Huh. In fact, later you're going to see that there's just a straight-up wizard war going on. Well, how about that? And it kind of goes with what this world is based on. This world is where all the world's magic is made. This is where the dragons form all their spells, all their unique 
everything that just kind of keeps the magic rolling in this place. That phrase, the way you said that, it got my brain buzzing with ideas. This is where magic is made. Mm hmm Because in a lot of different worlds, magic is just this force that exists in the world. It's sort of like the air we breathe. It's just all around us. Yep. But thinking of it in a different way, like magic being an expendable resource that you have to produce more of to use it, that's also kind of a cool concept. Exactly. I, I feel like you could do something with that. I'm yeah. not sure what off the top of my head. I'd have to chew on that for a bit. Oh, yeah. Because this is basically where... I always interpreted that here... Oh, yeah, this. Yep, oh, wait, no, that's in a different stage. Mm -hmm. I, I was I saw that arch and a hill going downwards. Oh, you're not you're not wrong. You know what? It, yeah, yeah, there we go. Supercharge. Spyro's gonna drift in a second here, folks. <laughs> so. I mean, when you are charging normally, it's basically you're just driving Spyro like he's a car. Pretty much. So, when we get up here, we're gonna meet this guy, who's basically gonna tell us what we already told you. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. There's that word again. Excellent. So, everybody watching at home, this is what a supercharge does. Yeah! Terminal velocity! <laughs> oh, I missed one. So. 710 split. Yeah. <laughs> So, th this is where you have to kind of drive Spiral like a car a little bit. Because there are going to be light levels in this world where you're going to need to really work on your supercharging. Mm. Ah, here we go. Now, for those who missed the first two flight levels... ...leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings... Learn to fly. Got it. He looks Spyro like just really hates old people. <laughs> Again, he's basically supposed to be a 10-year-old or something like that. <laughs> and then again, these levels are so packed with stuff to do to begin with, I wouldn't blame Spyro for having some kind of ADD. ADD. Tell me about it. Oh, that's what we need the supercharge for. That's how we break that box. Yep. So this is where we have to really kind of drive Spyro like a car. Ah, okay. And it can get difficult, and, and again, there will be levels later where supercharging is just... You have to carry it for a long way through a winding path. Exactly. And that's what I was alluding to earlier, like that chanting. Yeah. That is burned into my brain because of some enemies that hang out there. Yep. You'll be hearing them for a while. It'll get... While you try and get that puzzle done. It'll etch into your mind like... So much chalk on a board. Uh oh. Oh, these Dick Tracy looking dudes. So. I never made that connection, but yes, you are 100% correct. Thank you. Like, look at that. The giant floppy hat, the big robe that looks like a coat. That's a Dick Tracy dude. It kind of reminds me of a black mage, actually. Yeah. From Fantasy. Kinda except, uh, except green in this case. Although green magic is something totally different in that series. Look at this dark winged duck looking dude. That too. With the constant rain cloud over him. I love it. I am the rain that pours in the night. I am the lightning that singes your butt. I am green wizard. Those are my friends, red wizard and blue wizard. No, oh, yes. Together we are the primary the primary colors. Roy G Biff. So that's our key. Mm -hmm. Now the fun part, where do we put the key? I've got a magical idea. Look at all these orbs and spheres. And just gems that they've mined out of the out of the caves. Mm-hmm. Basically just saying. Might want to perk up sparks a little bit. Yeah. Just for safety's sake. Oh yeah, I'm gonna save too. Because we've made it pretty far now. Yeah. You know how they always say save your work? Uh -huh. that, that, that that is a constant thing anybody who knows their stuff in a tutorial will tell you when working on something creative is just save constantly. Yep. Same thing with video games, especially if you're playing RPGs. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, alrighty then. 
Look at this. I didn't even catch that. This super secret alcove that if you went over there and looked around, you would have seen it. But me from experience, I remember, okay, it's over here. And But it does come back to what we said from Town Square and Dry Canyon. Hug the wall. Hmm. And... I'm trying to remember if they apply it anywhere else. I think they do somewhere, but this game does keep consistency, but again, here is where they just kind of don't really hold your hand as much. Mm. Well, I wonder if I can burn this tree. Probably. Oh, wow. Well, it is a magic tree. <laughs> I'm going to go with I'm going to go with that. Okay. I love I love when people actually acknowledge that excuse. <laughs> like, why does why is this kind of weird? Because magic. It's magic. You don't have to explain it. You know why nobody likes that writing conceit? Because what? it's a silly dad trick. Really? It's like when you're six years. It's like when you're four years old, oh. even, and you go to the automatic opening doors at the mall or something. Yes. You're like, wow, dad, how'd you do that? I'm magic. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see, <laughs> I see exactly where you're getting. I see exactly where you're driving at. <laughs> I see I see all of what you just put out there, yes. <laughs> all of that. It's it's like, we're not stupid. We, can, we see what you're doing. Like we know exactly what's happening. Just you know, give I, I can handle ex <laughs> the, I can handle electronics. I'm gonna respect my intelligence a little more than that. It's and you know how I, how he knew I was an intelligent kid back then. How so? My first response to that was nah. -uh. <laughs> so here's our first level over here. Alpine Ridge. This is where I'm gonna show you my favorite sound effect in the game. Oh. That's not the sound effect itself. <laughs> I, I wish. I'll probably replace that vocal sound effect with my attempt at whatever this is. Ah, uh, yes. So let's get our treasure here. That free gems just for coming in the stage. Mm-hmm. So, you'll see in the distance, that guy over there is feeding that monster. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see if I can get this guy to come near me. See, come on, make the noise already. Okay, well, I can do this. Does he need to attack or? Okay, he doesn't need to attack. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they just make the best roar. It kind of sounds like he's belching to me. Yeah. He's just got really he's just got a really bad stomach ache, which I guess makes sense because of the amount of food that guy was giving him. Exactly. Basically. All right, we're back everybody. Sorry about that. I had to go take care of life for a little second. This is the tale of Spyro the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Armand still has the controller if you hadn't noticed. Yeah. Yeah! So much power! I feel invincible. That's At least until something damages you and makes and turns sparks blue. Tell me about it. he's blue, Dabu D Dabu. No, he's quite yellow right now, actually. Now he's blue, Dabu D Dabu Dabu. <laughs> That's why you weren't hitting him on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for the guy in that song. Like, his house is blue, his car is blue, his girlfriend is blue, his chicken cordon is blue. I mean, it's one thing to have a blue car. All right, these guys. These guys are jerks. So. Yeah, you were showing off one of them a little earlier who was, like, hiding on top of a platform. But these terraformers, these, uh, their whole purpose is basically just to troll you. Exactly. To, to screw with your ability to get around the level. Like, each one, because they're messing around with the ground itself too, the cool thing about their design is that they offer all kinds of different puzzles. Like, one of them is sliding a wall panel in and out and back and forth. One of them is raising themselves up on a platform. And then you have that those stairs there. Yeah, so... Come, and I, it comes back nicely to the fact that 
in the Magic Crafters world, this is where the dragons craft all the spells and magical elements we'll be seeing. And so these druids, as they're going to be called, I'd always just call them wizards because that's basically what they are. Oh, no! I can save it! I can save it! I can save it! At least for a few extra seconds you can, anyway. So. I like how that guy even reacts to when you defeat his little... Uh, what would you even call these things, I wonder? There's an American cryptid called a ho a hordak. A hodag. A hodag. Uh-huh, it's a hodag. One of the hodag. Hodag. It's one of my favorite, another one of my favorite words to say, hodag. <laughs> and a hodag is basically what we just killed there. It's this big... Anything with H-O in that order, in the words somewhere, is usually pretty fun to say. It is hodag. Who yeah. You ever see King of the Hill? Uh, Where Peggy would just go, Oh yeah! <laughs> that too. Love Peggy. Yeah. Ho Hokum. Yeah. There, we're gonna try to get the camera to adjust behind me. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Particular thing you're looking for here? Oh, uh, trying to get it behind Spyro. Ah. Uh. That's another thing player, a lot of our viewers might notice is that Spyro may be controlling a little more erratically, and that's due to the fact that well, I haven't touched a controller in, I want to say, years. Uh, yeah, you don't play a whole lot of video games anymore. Yeah. Which is a... interesting because you have a lot of passion for them. I love video games. They're fantastic. It's a fun way to explore, find a new world. Just lose yourself in something fantastical. Is it just a money thing, or you just don't have enough time? It's a mixture of... It's basically a mixture of... Uh, it's basically a mixture of I haven't had time with work and work for Team Pizza, and I do have a console at home, and it's all packed up and ready for me to move anywhere. It's a PS2, mm. but I just haven't got around to either installing it into a place at the house I currently live in, or haven't, or just haven't had the drive to just get back in. That's another reason why I'm glad we're doing this. Because... Because... Oh. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm glad we're doing this. I like his floppy feet. He's so floppy! And when he's falling down. It's like... Or just anywhere, really. It's, it's, it's like... It's like, um... I gotta tell and you. go. And go. Yeah! Whew. Yeah! And this thing's gonna run! <laughs> he even starts running away, yeah. It's like, oh no, I fucked up! I didn't even notice this until you pointed it out to me. Like, a lot, there are a lot of really fun interactions with enemies in this game. I love them. Like, you usually didn't get a whole lot of that. Like, until games like this and Metal Gear started coming out, nobody really thought about that. Enemies were just obstacles. They weren't, like, characters. They didn't have... Uh, th they were one-note tropes, essentially. They're basically, you might as well just have put a gun on a series of codes. <laughs> just a, uh, whoa. Oh, oh, no. We no. almost saved that one. The ooze. The toothpaste. Oh, it's so minty. <laughs> <laughs> minty fresh breath put out my fire. It's so minty. Like, look at this guy. Look at, oh no, oh no, look at him. Oh, he's still it. there. Oh God, maybe he's <laughs> run away. Oh no, no, he's still there. Oh, does it, oh, laughing at my grooming habits, <laughs> are we? <laughs> what is it, what's the matter? Are you scared? Oh, God, I'm dead. Uh, nobody laughs at Spyro. <laughs> Except for us, apparently. Oh, we are masters at laughing at things that can't touch us.